Hello, I'm Penny Barfield from Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service and Adult and Community Learning. I'm going to share a few of the activities from our music family learning workshop, which is based, oops, based on this lovely book, Hand a Surprise by Eileen Brown. The story is set in Kenya, in Africa, and one of the languages spoken in Kenya is Swahili, Swahili, and the word for hello in Swahili is Jambo. Can you try that? Jambo. So our song goes like this. Oh, I'm going to do some actions to start off with, and then I'm going to do a little bit of tapping the beat on anything I can find. I've got a little pot here. I have got an African drum here. You can might be able to find something or you could just tap your knees. And I've got a little homemade shaker here as well. So we're going to do some actions and then we're going to do a little bit of, uh, of percussion with our song. It goes like this. Jambo, Jambo, hello everybody, Jambo, 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 hello everybody, Jambo, have a go. Jambo, Jambo, hello everybody, Jambo, we might do something different. Jambo, Jambo, Hello everybody, Jambo. Jambo, Jambo. Hello everybody, Jambo. Jambo, Jambo. Hello everybody, Jambo. Jambo, Jambo. Hello everybody, Jambo. Everybody jumbo. Hello, everybody jumbo. So, our song is about a little girl called Handa who decided to go and visit her friend Akeo, who lived in the next village, and she decided to take her a surprise basket of fruit. So she took her lovely flat basket and in her basket she put in a soft yellow banana, soft yellow banana, a round juicy orange, round juicy orange. Next, she put in a spiky leaved pineapple, spiky leaved pineapple. And then she chose a creamy green avocado. My avocado is not very green, is it? It's nearly black. Some, some avocados are green and if you cut it down the middle, it would probably be green inside. And then the last fruit that I've been able to find is very small, isn't it? Do you know what it is? It's a passion fruit. It's a tangy purple passion fruit. Tangy purple passion fruit. Round, juicy, orange. Tangy purple passion fruit round, juicy orange. Mm, let's see. Spiky leaved pineapple, soft yellow banana. Spiky leaved pineapple, soft yellow banana. So we do a lot of repeating rhythms and phrases so that children can really hear how, lang how language works and they can practice saying these 
at saying these sounds themselves. Um, and they're really developing their knowledge of rhythm and rhyme, which helps with their own speech and language. Um, and uh, when they come onto it, really helps with their reading. So, Anna puts all her fruit in a basket and she starts walking to Akeo's house. Along come some animals. And one by one, they come and take the fruit. Oh dear, I wonder what comes first. It's a monkey. He's going to take the banana. We're going to sing a little chant. I wonder if she can hear us. Hand a, hand a, monkey's got the banana. Hand a, hand a, monkey's got the banana. But she carried on walking, walking to Akeo's house, balancing the basket on her head. I wonder which animal came along next. It begins with zzzz. It's a zebra. He's going to take the orange. Shall we tell her? Hand a, hand a, zebra's got the orange. Hand a, hand a, zebra's got the orange. But she carried on walking, walking with her basket on her head. I wonder what came along next. An animal with very long legs and a very long neck. Can you guess? A giraffe. He's going to take the pineapple. Ready, hand a, hand a, giraffe's got the pineapple. Hand a, hand a, giraffe's got the pineapple. But she kept on walking, walking to a house. Mm. Along came another animal. I wonder if you know what that is. It's an antelope. Antelope. It's like a big deer and it's got long curly horns, hasn't it? Oh, he's going to take the avocado. Antelope's got the avocado. Oh, we better sing it slowly. Hand a, hand a, antelope's got the avocado. Hand a, hand a, antelope's got the avocado. But she carried on walking, walking to Akeo's house. Oh, I've got just one fruit left. Squawk, squawk, squawk. I wonder what animal that is. Or perhaps it's a bird. It's a parrot. And he's going to take the passion fruit. The parrot and the passion fruit. Can you sing it with me? Ready, hand a, hand a. Parrot's got the passion fruit. Hand a, hand a. Parrot's got the passion fruit, but she carried on walking, walking to Akeo's house. I wonder what happened next. Well, along came a goat and he'd broken free and he came charging down the hill faster and faster and faster and faster and faster just like this can you show me your horns and he went crash into a tree and all the fruits fell out of the tree into Handa's empty basket do you think she knew she didn't so. <gasps> Jumbo Akeo! <gasps> Jumbo Hander! I've 
brought you a surprise. Ooh. <gasps> Tangerine, said Akeo, my favourite. Tangerines, said Handa. Well, that is a surprise. Do you like my tangerines? I made them. I rolled some paper round and round and round and scrunched it. Rolled it round and round and round. And I made some little leaves as well. I'm going to take some of them out. We'll see if we can have a little game. What shall we do with our tangerines? What shall we do with our tangerines? What shall we do with our tangerines? Hey, 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 hey. We'll roll our tangerines round and round. Roll our tangerines round and round. Roll our tangerines round and round. Hey, 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 hey. Shall we count them? Let's have a look. How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, oh, we've got two more, five, six tangerines. I think Handa and Akeo did something else with their tangerines. What do you think? We'll peel our tangerine and have a little taste. Peel our tangerine and have a little taste. Peel our tangerine and have a little taste. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, delicious tangerines. So that's nearly the end of our little workshop today. Um, one of the most important things that you can do is to share songs, rhymes, uh, and books with your children. That makes them feel safe and secure and nurtured and really helps them to develop and learn. So I've got one more thing to say and that is Quaheri. Quaheri. What do you think that means? It means goodbye in Swahili. Quaheri. It's time to say goodbye, Quaheri, Quaheri. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye, Quaheri, Quaheri. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed some of our activities today. Perhaps I'll see you somewhere soon. Bye-bye.